Yo. Hi. So to, to keep on talking about the MPC 500 and the way to mix mastering with it and the way to make a beat with it. So you can do it the way you, you use the live of a modern MPC. But as it is limited in memory and so on, you got to use tricks. But my what I think about the 500 is that when you work on such gear, there is so many limitations, so many things that you can do that you, you have to use tricks to make them that when you switch switch back to the something like the MPC Live, you understand how your workflow is quite different and really powerful because you, you go to the essential, you know how to EQ here. The process is mainly on sampling, resampling, pitching up, adding effects, resampling and so on. It's there is a lot of if you want to do something with it, I consider I truly consider that resampling is is basis. Here on the live the resampling, all these things are quite easier. You know, you can do a lot of things, effects on each pad and each program and that's Comparing the two, uh, very there are two different worlds before these two. So here I got a simple. Okay, I already pitched it. So I got a simple program, and you know, yes, the original pitch is this one with my drums, my effects, my own, my bass, my uh, strings. And I don't know if I'm gonna use all th use them all, but I just wanna show you how to, to make the beat. So I already make a drum pattern. Okay, so here on my drum pattern, I will add uh, my my loop so I can do easily with um with step pattern so on track four I and I add okay. So listen to me. There's a track mute somewhere, yes. Quite simple loop. Just add a little step. Ties. Okay, so here I got my my drums, my loops. If I want to add the bass and so on, I can do several tracks with my my bass. All the things that will last, all the song, I can do. And I will add the, the own, 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 all the effects on another track as master track, you know. So, for my drums, the easiest way is will be to mute the loop one, uh, the loop tracks. Then I will go to sequence power, um, and instead of having a cell to loop my sequence, I will take loop off so
Okay, it's N. Because if I want to add FX to all of these, my MPC 500 wants effect on or four pad and on so on. As you add a lot of effects, you will lose in polyphony. So I prefer to resample. So let's go to main and resample. That's okay, and let's put it on pad B1. So listen to us to the pad. Oh, it's already speed up. Okay, no, I want it to be here. Okay, I already add the effects, you know, because it's in my template. So I add um a grunge effect and the compression I will cut the the master compression I don't or I will make it a little bit lower a little bit more I will lower it. That's okay. So here I add grunger effects and two compression. Okay, so in program I'll pitch it up. Okay, and then I will resample. Okay, let's put it on pad B two. Okay. I think it minus 12, that's okay. So I'll already pitch it down. So that's it. That's original. Let's go to effects and add a little. So add, add a little gain to the compressor. Okay. That's the drum pattern without any effects. This is the resample pitch down. So now you hear the difference, just sampling, resampling it with a little bit, with effects on it, pitching it up, I don't have the same thing, it's more aggressive and more glued, you know. So, with this I can do another sequence, you know, let's see, okay, 51.9, let's choose the BPM, use the same BPM, so on track, on second three, track one, so it's easy, I will Go once again in step edit, record. I will go to the sequence parameter and see if it's okay. Wait, I, know I need to make it four bars length instead of two. That's okay. And so I got it. I can go back to my loop and so 
I can build my song with first trick sequence, you know, when I will uh, in which I will add all my um, patterns and then take out the loop, resample them, pitching, adding effects. If I want to pitch it, uh, pitch them up, I pitch them up, whatever I do, and then go to the uh, pad bank B and we'll add uh, things like that, you know, to get the sound I want to get. And this is a way you can get really, um, I would say that, to get a really good sound from out of this box, you know, without the use of anything out of it. I don't use any compressor out of it, out of it you know, it's all in the box, as I will do with uh, MPC Live. So that's the way to work with it. So um, if you keep on, you do the loops, resample it, and so on. So you will end it with on your pad bank B with the drums, the loops, uh, the loop, yes, the loops, the bass. You will make a song with it and then you will add all the little effects you know you can you can add on it you know so let's let's add the loop like that oh okay I'm in seconds one and do. Yes, I want to be in second three and let's go track two. That's okay. And now I can use it. After I can add anything on my beats, you know, on my song to make it, to add, but to bring more energy in it, you know. But that's basic to make, a, that's my way to work with MPC 500, you know. Sometimes I make basic song, but to build, to mix and master, that's my favorite way. So keep on sharing uh, good vibes. Mm -hmm. 